The question on all our minds in 2015 was how the Lucas County Board of Developmental Disabilities would address major systemic changes. Changes that for the most part were being mandated by Medicaid. The board was required to submit to the state a step-by-step -step plan for how it would back away from the provision of direct services, notably transportation and adult services, to include lot industries. In its action plan for the year 2016, the board outlined steps to be taken while at the same time reinforcing its responsibility to people served. And the board restated its commitment to the voters of Lucas County to be fiscally prudent. Medicaid identified two focal points. The first was a requirement to address a perceived conflict of interest. County boards should not be a service provider if also providing case management. The second was to require that services are delivered in community-based, non-segregated settings. The plan submitted to the state includes a timeline to reduce the population served by the board's adult options department, with those services being assumed by other providers in the community, including lot industries. The board will partner with providers in a quality network of community support for persons served. One way we will do this is to coordinate provider training. Staff from the board's service and support administration are meeting with mental health organizations, including the Lucas County Mental Health and Recovery Services Board, to ensure quality mental health services for persons with dual diagnosis. The change process will require lot industries to begin the transition to becoming an autonomous provider. Contract work will be consolidated at the Hill Avenue facility. And in keeping with the Governor's Employment First initiative, more individuals will be given the opportunity for community-based employment. Lot Industries stepped up its marketing efforts in 2015 with the Think Lot campaign. Boss, we have all this work and not enough time. I don't know what to do. Well, think, man, think. Think lot. Think lot. Now, why didn't I think of that? The board will conclude the phase out of transportation services in 2016. Service and support specialists will assist individuals and families to identify appropriate transportation alternatives. To guide the board into the systemic change and provide a foundation upon which to build the future, a revised mission statement was adopted. Improving life so that individuals with developmental disabilities reach their full potentials. Note that the word life is capitalized. It's an acronym for a revised set of core values. L, for living life, a desire to live life in the same manner as everyone else. This means having the opportunity to choose home, relationships, hobbies, career, and beliefs. I represents inclusion. A person should be included, accepted, and able to participate in all things throughout the community. F is for freedom of choice, where an individual's voice is heard and a person's opinions matter. E, everyone has worth and may share talents and abilities. Every person deserves the chance to contribute to the betterment of the community. This mission statement and set of core values focus on the future as we continue an evolution of services and supports that began with Josina Lott's vision to classrooms, to employment, community-based living, and to a more integrated lifestyle. Examples of the integrated lifestyle were highlighted in the first annual Community Film Festival. The board will maintain its focus on early intervention with outreach into the community, including community playgroups at libraries, the West Toledo Y, and the East Toledo Family Center. We partnered in 2015 
with two school districts to provide self-determination training for students. The Children's Department will also expand its outreach to children preparing for the transition to adult life. In 2016, the board will continue its active involvement with the Lucas County Human Trafficking Coalition, working to prevent people with developmental disabilities from being exploited. The emphasis for all individuals served by the board is person-centered. We will work with each individual and that person's team to identify resources in the community to support the individual's hopes, needs, and aspirations. This is an amazing time in the evolution of services for persons with developmental disabilities. An evolution that began in Lucas County in the late 1930s to today with ever-expanding opportunities to live, work, play, and socialize in community-based settings.